A lot of you ask me, how can I launch that legendary smile? That Duchenne smile that apparently can change your life. Well, according to science, the Duchenne smile can. Because as I said, it increases your likability, it increases your chances of being married, less likely being divorced, more likely to have a prosperous job, more friendships, deeper friendships. You live longer, you're a healthier life, you may even be paid more and you get to uh, reproduce more often if you're at age. So who wouldn't want that smile? I believe probably a lot of you are going like, do I, do I have that smile? I uh, maybe that would explain a lot if I don't. A long, long time ago, there was a man by the name Duchesne de Boulogne, French neurologist. He was fascinated by the idea of our facial expressions and what a true smile really was. So he planted electrodes and probes on volunteers, I hope, put them on their face to contract their muscles. And he went over and over again. But what he saw, he felt it wasn't genuine in his frustration. It's like, oh, why can I not produce, why can I not create a genuine smile by these electrical probes? And then in a particular session, apparently he told a joke to the person who just had taken off the electrical probes and boom, the person's face lit up in a different way. And at that point of time, he understood that it's not only the zygomatic major muscles need, which needs to be contracted, but also the orbocular oculi, three crowed feet muscles. When you contract both of them, that's how you create a genuine smile. And that is what he'd failed to do. But it's still a cool thing to try, don't you think? Alexander! With me today, I have Alexander Ramnet Yalug! Bonjour. Yeah, bonjour. <laughs> he is my uh, comrade and YouTube teammate and friend and everything possible. This is, uh, this is, I don't know if this is what Mr. Duchin Belong used, but it's intensely painful if you put it in the wrong place. My friend just tried it on his eyelids, probably be very painful. Okay, so this particular muscle here is called the sugomatic major. So you put that here and then... <laughs> <laughs> that was the weirdest feeling in my entire life. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you, can you can leave now. All right, so um, the idea of that was obviously cataloging your muscles. But the cool thing as well with this is that you can actually then feel your muscles. And when you feel your muscles, you can reactivate them. That is option one of learning the Duchenne spine. So how do you launch this particular smile? Well. As I said, I was probably the greatest psychopath in the entirety of Sweden for four months trying to learn how to launch a chain smile because nowhere on the internet could I find how to launch one. So I went around going like, hello. <laughs> yes, hello. Dave, name, name is David. Yeah. You heard you're going to show your teeth and you've got to squint your eyes. So it's got to be a chain smile. Didn't work, didn't work, didn't work. I was almost giving up. I didn't. Instead, I thought, what could be the most emotional, happy moment in my entire year? And I recall that when I get home from a long, long journey, I've been out weeks doing keynotes all over the world. I come home, my daughter meets me, she throws herself around my neck and she hugs me. And she borrows her head down into my neck and she says, I love you, daddy. I thought that's got to be the time. If I don't launch a Duchenne smile then, I'm done with. I'm smoked. So the next time I was heading home, I set this up. I called my wife and I said, okay, is she at home? Yes, she is. Okay, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Don't say anything. I want this to be spontaneous. I'm soon there then. So I get there with the car. I get out and unmistakably, she just throws up the door, runs down the stairs, runs towards the car without shoes, just jumps up, hugs me, borrows down her, head and she says oh, I love you I missed you daddy and at that point of time I felt my entire face lit up like you can't believe and that was my Duchenne smile and now when I'd done it once I knew how it felt so I could reproduce it so I started trying it out expanding the muscles practicing the muscles just as you do at the gym relaunching it relaunching it relaunching it with her as a memory 
and boom, I was able to, I remember the time when I was walking around and I looked at a cloud and I went like, oh, that's sweet, oh, beautiful cloud. Oh, isn't that a beautiful camera? And I can just say that that changed my life entirely. It changed my life entirely because do you know what a smile creates? A genuine smile creates endorphins and endorphins lowers your critical thinking about life. So every single thing in my entire life became better and I enjoyed it more because I got, got less critical about it. So that's how you launch a beautiful Duchenne smile. Another cool trick to practice your Duchenne smile is to practice it when you watch things that really lit you up like a puppy or a kitten or a seal or a beautiful tree. I don't know what's your thing, you know? <laughs> look at things that light you up and just keep on practicing to find this muscle automatically. I'll just summarize that. Number one, account for a situation where you may launch a Duchenne smile. Be conscious when you do it. Boom. Feel the muscles that we use during the Duchenne smile. Repeat, 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 repeat them with the memory over and over again and uh, you'll have a more happy life and more content life from one single skill. Ha <laughs>